you know, these temperatures continue to remain steamy. It's the humidity that makes the feels like temperature go well into the triple digits, and that puts a danger. So, yeah, staying hydrated throughout the day, not waiting, you know, not drinking for so long with your water. And then when you feel thirsty, you drink. You don't want to get to that point. You don't want to get to when you're thirsty. Just drink water throughout the day. It's really good for you, for us anyway. Uh, here's a look at the radar. So we're starting off dry, but now let's include the satellite. We're still dealing with a lot of cloud cover, mainly over Palm Beach County, wrapping around over the Glades County area and the Highlands. But as you can see from Indian River County down through Martin County, it looks like the skies are starting to clear out a bit, even parts of Okeechobee as well. All this cloud cover is actually associated with an upper level disturbance. So let's take a look at the water vapor imagery because it typically, uh, since it shows us the, the amount of moisture or dry air in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, you can usually kind of see that disturbance a little better. You could see the moisture associated with this disturbance. It's basically producing the cloud cover, maybe a few showers in the far southern tip of the peninsula. But so far, we're starting off dry. Now, as we go into the early afternoon hours by 1 o'clock, sea breeze storms will start to develop then. Does not look widespread. So at this point, it's going to be isolated. But as we go to 3 o'clock hour, we'll see more of those heavier downpours uh, stretching from St. Lucie County all the way down through Palm Beach County, closer to the coast by then. But by 6 o'clock, it's for inland and western areas that will get those thunderstorms. Now, when it comes to the rain chance, it's going to drop a little bit as we go into tomorrow because of an east breeze that's returning tomorrow. Now, with that, we could still get a few of these passing showers tomorrow morning, and then most of the thunderstorms will pull away far west and inland by tomorrow afternoon. So a little bit of a change coming our way. Temperatures this morning in the low to mid 70s, highs this afternoon in the low 90s. Again, it feels like temperatures could top out at 105 degrees. Now, as we go into the rest of the week into the weekend, temperatures will bump up into the low to mid 90s by Sunday.